Welcome back to Sliders TV's coverage of the SCART shootout. We're about ready to get back to racing. The safety car will be in pretty soon and we'll be restarting and then it's just a 50 lap run to the finish. There's absolutely no catches, no mandatory pit stops. But one thing that could get really interesting now, fuel mileage. I reckon the maximum we can probably go on these cars is about 40, 35 laps. So if we get a caution in the first 10 laps, it could be really interesting with people trying to stretch the distance without a pit stop. So for this restart, we've got the 30 of Lands and the number 5 of Burnout on the front row, followed by Popovich and uh, Charter. And then on the third row, we've got Shimek and Sam. Yeah, of course, Lands has selected to take the outside, which is the leader's right, but everybody else, uh, you must take the inside. He starts a little bit messy, and they're almost four wide going into turn one, and there's a crash in the back as well, but we stay green for now. I'm surprised it didn't call off the restart there. It did look a bit messy, but they've let it go. And oh, Lance has taken the lead off turn number four. Popovich, Popovich now. dive into the insides. Dive into the inside of Burnout. And all Popovich trying Ooh. to squeeze to the inside of Lance and he goes up into the wall and the caution is out. That's what you were talking about earlier. You know, when the cars just, just have to get one wheel on the apron and that's it. They've lost control. They're going to get very loose and it usually ends up with the car going into the outside wall. Yeah, that was exactly it. He really tried to squeeze to the inside of Lance going after the lead. And Lanz just gave him no space. I mean, it's fair enough. Uh, he wasn't alongside him. Fair enough for Lanz to shut him off there. And he shot up into the wall. I mean, watch this. He just overcorrects. That's what it is. Overcorrects the car and bang, right up into the outside wall and hit him into charter, drills, all the cars stacking up. Here's a replay of the restart then. And that was a big crash there. Surprised that the restart wasn't called off. It looks like Sam might have got like a bit of lag there because he just went straight off into the wall, didn't turn for that corner at all. Yeah, I mean, going through the tri oval, it's not the sharpest of turns, but obviously it requires a bit of steering action I and mean, none coming at all. So the field are pacing single file, and now you'll see how a normal caution in SCART actually works. Uh, pit lane is opened, and after that, they'll park in the grid. You can choose not to pit, you can choose to pit, but I think after only about two free laps of green flag running. I don't think many of the leaders will pit, certainly not lands. Uh, we could see the guys in the back pitting. Of course, the uh, caution causer, Hoppo, has to pit, as you can see there. And Shemex just missed his pit stop there. He's slightly overshot. He's going to have to reverse back to get into his pit box. Yeah, it looked like it cost him a little bit, uh, but he just comes out in 10. You might have seen into the last caution, Deluxe taking a lap back, that was because of the lucky dog rule. Uh, some people don't get that rule, it's quite simple, if you're the first car a lap down, you may take a lap, ba lap back on a caution, and you get a free pit stop with it as well. If you are now lap laps or more down, and you don't pit, then you also can take a free lap back, but you're absolutely not allowed to pit. That's the only difference between the lucky dog rule and the wave around rule, is that uh, if you wave around, then you're not allowed to pit, if you are the lucky dog, the first car a lap down, then you're allowed to pit, quite simple and it creates some better racing because you have more cars on the lead lap. And also, you can't really get stuck a lap, a lap down. You know, you always have that chance to, even if you do badly earlier in the race, you have the chance to recover and make up some good positions. Yeah, I think that's definitely vital on these ovals as it really doesn't take too much to drop down a lap. I mean, a couple of times into the wall and especially on tracks like Bristol, which are just so short, you know, a little bit of mistake or just stuck back in traffic and you can easily find yourself one lap down. Yeah, I mean a pit stop at Daytona takes about a lap. It takes about you know, four fifths of a lap. So imagine at Bristol, which is a half mile over, this is a two and a half mile over. Imagine at Bristol a half mile over, pit stops can take four laps. So if someone pits, the caution comes out and they're stuck four laps down. Uh, so pit stops are actually really, really key at these ovals as we get ready to go back racing. Safety car pulls onto pit road and we're away again. A bit of a cleaner start, but Burnout really was slow and he's swamped by Drills. Drills going around the outside of Burnout and taking it. And uh, Jono getting a push there from Umper. Lots of swerving in the field and Burnout really has dropped back three positions there. Uh, back here we're going to go three wide. wide. Down to two. Sam up the inside of uh, Drills. Gets on the apron though and he's going to lose the position. Yeah, he got loose, but he managed to save though. it, and Just Drill's also below the apron. Oh, more contact. 
Burnout seems to be dropping back positions after that restart, so definitely not a good few laps for him. Yeah, definitely. He's dropped all the way to the back, pretty much. He has just had an awful restart. You saw on the initial restart, he uh, was much slower than Lance. Lance really got the jump on him. Uh, of course, you're allowed to accelerate as soon as the pet safety car is below is onto pit lane. You're allowed to accelerate, so it's completely legal for Lance. And look at the contact in the back and the bump draft in here. Yep, we've got uh, Umper there in the 97 in front of Deluxe, who's in front of Burnout, who's got a good run down the back straight and he's gonna still remain behind as Deluxe goes up the inside of Umper here. Yeah, Deluxe and Umper battling hard. Umper's gonna probably take that position around the outside. The outside line seems to be really good. Uh, yeah, Daytona. definitely the place to be if you want to get a run off onto the back straight into turn three. Yeah, I think the best way to do it is to go high in one and two, get the run, and then if you can, cut back down to the inside. Because as you can see, Deluxe got a great run off turn two, but now Burnout on the inside for turn three and four could probably defend. But he chose not today. He's playing fairly fairly. Oh yes. Uh, no. Drills, catching Twin drills here. loose on the apron and nearly into the wall. He slams back down into Jono. Not mm. particularly fair, but he had just made a pretty good save as he uh, got off the apron, just saved it from the wall. And there's a uh, Umper and Deluxe chopping and swerving, and Deluxe pushes off turn two and a. Uh, Straight into the wall, Adol into the wall again. Will this be a caution? He's stopped in the track. Uh, there's nobody coming though. Shemek slows down quite a bit, but uh, we stay green. I'm surprised there. It did look like a caution was going to come, but. Well, I, I guess the green. idea is if the pack isn't around, then, you know, if nobody's around to crash into it, then you're fine. I mean, the idea of a caution is if the track's blocked and there's danger, and there's no danger if there's nobody around. And there's a. Popovich, you'll have to let Burnout buy, and he knows it, and he lets him buy ASAP. And, and it looks like in the process he lets Sam buy as well, not too clever. Here's, Here's a, replay a replay then of uh, Drills where he chops Jono and just manages to catch the apron, but great save there coming off the apron. Yeah, but then he, <laughs> I think really it was probably just a reaction to uh, sort of um, getting so loose, he probably just got up in that apron and then immediately had to pull back down. He probably noticed how close he was to the wall as well. He didn't want to stay along the wall for too long, as we have seen in uh, testing people getting stuck to the outside wall. Yeah, going into turn a, three. a bug there. You can get stuck to the wall. Um, hopefully that will be fixed by the next races, but we'll have to see. Meanwhile, here's Sam and Popovich battling over the seventh position. Through the triangle they go high, Popovich looks to the inside in turn one, but Sam doesn't leave him any space, perfectly fair there because uh, they're not alongside, that's really the key, but the car is alongside you, you cannot take that space, but if they're trying to get alongside you, then you can move once, and Popovich into the wall, and that looks like he's going to lose a lot of time, and immediately reacts by pitting, and now he's perfectly within the fuel window to get to the end, however he could trap trapped a lap down if the caution comes out. We just saw Lance there a bit earlier as well, and he's already pulled out a 2.5 second lead. And on a track like this, that is a big, big lead. As he pits now, he thinks that a caution might come out, and also this will help to get him to the end of the race. Yeah, I think that's really the key. You know, as soon as you can, just get, just make sure you can get to the end of the race. Um, but especially in the lead, he's not going to lose a lap. But the problem with Popo pitting when he did is now he's a lap down. If the caution comes out, then. Uh, He's a lap down, and unless he can get the lucky dog, he might have to not pit, and then he'll have old tyres for the restart, he'll be right at the back. And you can see Shemek comes out of the pit, will he get lapped? And yes, he does. Hans gets around the outside. Meanwhile, Jono into the wall and losing positions. Sam comes up on Jono, and oh, gives him a bit of a bump. Good friends in real life, perhaps uh, helping each other out. Even though they're not driving for the same team here, so it's not usual to see. Yeah. Guys from different teams helping each other out. Speaking of Jono, um, there's Burnout, his teammate, into the pits. He had an awful restart, and now he's surely hoping to, that pit strategy will help him to get back up there. Perhaps that's why he's pitting a little early. And Drills sliding into the pits, and Jono comes in too. Drills had to break really early because of how early in pit lane his pit stall is, and um, Jono is parked in between two stalls, which isn't really very legal, but he's not quite halfway. And the key is, if you're halfway into another stall, 
then that's what makes it illegal and I don't think he was quite halfway so I think he'll get away with that. Meanwhile Jules out of the pit and Umper and Popper also out of the pits and they might go three wide here into turn number three. Popo doesn't have much space contact with Umper and Popo's into the wall and he's lost loads of time. It looks like Umper just ran out of uh, room and he should have given Popo a little bit more but it looks like he was constantly going wide for that corner after a tight entry. Yeah, it's really wide. tough to go free wide through the corner, although uh, we saw him manage it at the start of the race. Meanwhile, d comes out of the pits and he's going to get lapped by Lands. So Lands is motoring at the moment. And meanwhile, here comes Umper into the pits also. He's also sliding as he comes in. Lands is already up to third, and the only people yet to pit now are Charter and Sam. They are stretching the fuel. Can't go to the end, but if a caution came out now, they'd be in the lead, and that'd be pretty good because Lands will have old tyres. So, you know, those two will pick, get some new tyres. Lands will probably stay out, but he'll be on older tyres. So, perhaps that strategy will work. Meanwhile, Jono going to the outside. This is for position. And Jono gets around the 97 car with Umper. And Umper is in sixth position. Jono in fifth. And Drills in seventh. We're going to see a replay here of Drills' entry into the pit lane. He makes a very sharp turn. Actually hits his pit box in the wall. It does help him slow down, but it's a bit of a odd way to get into a pit stall. I mean, well, there's the contact between Popovich and Umper, and ooh, was it Umper's fault there? I'm not sure, but if it was, he probably should have let him by. I mean, I'm not sure it was Umper's fault. There was contact, but then the, the actual uh, crash of the wall was a little bit later, so um, I'm not really sure. Meanwhile, here's Lanz. Oh, Lanz maybe suffering a bit of lag there. And Deluxe and Shemek there, it's been vital for them. They've got their lap back if Sam and Charter were to pit before the next caution they'll be back in the lead lap yeah very crucial for those two because Lands really is the net leader as as you say Sam and Charter are yet to pit but look, look at Jono oh, perhaps suffering Jono the same lag that, yeah. and uh, Umper gets past him so perhaps uh, a bit of a lag at the same time there perhaps a bit of a server issue meanwhile here we are on board with our leader Charter and uh, not too long to go and he's got to be thinking about pitting quite soon he's got 10% fuel left and indeed Charter comes into the pits giving the lead to Sam and uh, Charter's parked a little bit oddly in between the pit stalls lap 61 no. Charter comes out of the pits and he's behind lands but not by much that strategy seems to work fantastically he's in third place and meanwhile Popo making a mistake and a dismal day for Popo after a great qualifying continues now Sam's into the pits and will Lance take the lead and yes he does but will Sam come out in front of anybody else he's out just behind burnout and with that it's time for the race rundown okay we start off here with the 30 car of Lance he's dominated the race so far he's in a great position to win here after coming second last year he took a four tie stop at the last stop and he feels great James Charter the winner of last year and in a fantastic second place after the pit stops. His pit stop strategy really worked out there. Uh, waiting on the pit stop really worked out for him. Jono? Burnout then, he had a pretty bad restart after the halfway point, but since then he's had some clean air and he's managing to pull some good nice laps to catch up with Charter. Sam is running a great fourth place. He's made up loads of positions since the restart, running the same pit strategy as Charter, staying at an extra two laps and leading some and uh, really, really on a good run today with that clean air. Uh, 97 car here of Umper has run a very solid race today and he's been racing closely with Sam and he is still even after these pit stops. James? Jono in the number 48 Lowe's Chevy running a little bit of a disappointing race after his win in the pre-season funded test race but still a solid sixth place and on his way to a nice starting position for the Daytona 500. And his fellow Brit Drills is in 7th position, uh, he's been getting his car quite loose all day and uh, he had an awful pit stop from just because of his position on pit road. Yes, and there we can see Drills getting very loose, just proving what you just said. Deluxe in 8th position, you know, I think I was right when I put him as my third. The uh, losing of that race last year at Daytona has really affected him psychologically, this is not the track for Deluxe, uh, but expected to make a comeback perhaps in the Daytona 500 or at Phoenix. The 42 here of Popovic, the second Italian in the field, has done a four-tire stop here after being in a high of first position has dropped down to a lowly ninth. So in last place is Shimek then, who's had a disappointing race so far after the problem on the lap 25 caution 
where uh, Sam managed to take him into the wall and he's not recovered from that yet. So that's our race run down. Join us after the break for the end of this strategically interesting Scott shootout. <laughs> 